In this video, I will show you how to write the equation of a circle in standard form if you're given the center and the radius, which is super easy. And uh, then I will show you how to write the equation of a circle uh, if you're given the center and a point that is on the circle. And then I will show you how to determine whether a point lies inside, outside, or on a circle whose equation that you know. And uh, finally, I will show you how to convert the um, general form equation of a circle into standard form. Um, this is general form. Notice that there are no parentheses in there. Standard form is going to be like this, where you have um, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So this is standard form. Um, now in this form, the center is h comma k. And the radius is r. OK, so all of that is the model. So if we're given the center, that means that we are being given h and k. So the equation is going to be x minus 3 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals. Now, notice, um, basically, I did the opposite of these numbers. I had a positive 3, and I put minus 3. I had a negative 2, and I put plus 2. That's what it means in a formula when you see a minus sign. It really means the opposite of this. And uh, finally, we have the radius squared. So since the radius is 4, then the radius squared will be 16. So um, that's the final answer. That's the equation of a circle with radius 4 and center 3, comma negative 2. OK, now, now let's write the equation of a circle that has this center and passes through this point. So let me sort of draw a line right here down the middle. Um, we have the center. So I can start out my equation right now. It's going to be x minus 1 squared plus uh, y minus 2 squared equals. All right, I can get all that from the center. All I need is the final number, OK? Now, that number comes from the radius squared. So that's what I need to find. I need to find the radius squared so I can put that number right here. And that's what I'm going to do over on the left-hand side. I'm going to find r squared using um, the point on the circle that they gave us. Point p is 7, comma, negative 4. If this point is on the circle, if I plug it into the equation, I should get a true statement. So in other words, I should be able to use the 7 as the x and the negative 4 as the y. So um, you know, based on the model, all of this is going to equal to the radius squared. That's sort of uh, what I'm looking for. So I'm going to use this equation to find the radius squared. So substituting in 7 for x, this equation will become um, 7 minus 1 squared plus. Substituting negative 4 for the y, then I've got negative 4 minus 2 squared. And all of this should equal the radius squared. Um, there are no variables on the left, so I should be able to find this pretty easily. So I can find this step by step um, if I want to. Uh, 7 minus 1 is 6 squared. Um, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 squared. And that should equal the radius squared. Well, 6 squared is 36. And uh, negative 6 squared is also 36. OK, so add these up. And that's going to give us the radius squared. So 72 is equal to the radius squared. So if I take this and I plug it back into the equation I was working on, 
then the final answer becomes x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 72. Okay, moving on to part B. Determine whether this point, negative 5 comma 8, lies inside, outside, or on the circle whose equation we just found. Use words and calculations to justify your answer. All right, basically we're, we're just going to uh, substitute this point into the equation that we have. Um, if this point is on the circle, I should get 72. All right, because it, it'll be a true statement. If I substitute this in and I get a number that is less than 72, that means the point is sitting on a smaller circle that is inside the circle. If I plug this in and I get a number that is bigger than 72, then that means this point is sitting on a larger circle that is outside the given circle. So let's plug it in and see what happens. So um, I'm going to have negative 5 minus 1 squared plus, um, and now comes the 8, so 8 minus 2 squared. And I need to see how does that compare uh, with 72. So I'll just put a question mark here. Now, last time I worked this out by hand, um, and you know, it's almost the same thing. You know, I'll just work it out by hand again. So this is going to be negative 6 squared uh, plus 6 squared. And I'm trying to find out how does that compare to uh, 72. Well, uh, again, this is going to be 36 plus 36, just like last time. So how does that compare to 72? Um, well, 36 plus 36 is 72. 72 equals 72. Um, so since uh, the numbers are equal, that tells me that this point is on the circle. So point A is on the circle. Okay, convert to standard form. Again, standard form is this form that we've been using with the parentheses in it. Um, the first thing you should do to convert to standard form is uh, divide everything by 2. All right? Um, I don't like the fact that there are numbers in front of my x squared and y squared. Luckily, everything is divisible by 2. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Let's divide everything by 2. Divide by 2 here, 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 even there. Divide it all. So right away, that's going to give us, um, that's going to give us x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 2y plus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, now this 10 is going to have to go to the other side, get it out of the way. So I'm, technically I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. So I'll have a negative 10 over here. Other than that, I'm going to rearrange this on the next step so that the terms that have x's in them are side by side. And I want the terms that have y's in them to be side by side. So when I rewrite the equation, I'm going to have uh, x squared minus 8x. Then I'm going to leave a space. And then I'll have plus y squared plus 2y. And I'm going to leave another space. And this is going to equal negative 10. Now, uh, here come the parentheses that we wanted. So um, for, for the x part, I'm going to have parentheses squared. Now inside the parentheses will be x 
of course. But then it's going to be half of this. So see then the minus 8, it's going to be minus 4. Okay, and then let's go ahead and set up the y part. Um, because it's y, I'm going to have a y. But then it's going to be half of this. So instead of plus 2, I'm going to have a plus 1 squared. Now, do not skip the next little part that I'm about to do. You need to uh, complete the square. You need to fill in the blanks here. And the number that goes in the blank is the number in the parentheses squared. Almost, uh, that's almost what's being suggested. If you ignore the x, I have negative 4 squared. That's just what I do right now. So I'm going to put a plus 16. All right, even though I already have the parentheses, every step in your uh, problem has to be valid. Every step has to equal the previous step. Without the 16, this um, line does not equal the line below. So even if you get the right answer, you will lose points for not showing the plus 16 on the left and the right, which is another common mistake. You have to show it in both places or you will lose a point. Um, similarly, I need to square this 1. Well, 1 squared is still 1. So I'm going to put a plus 1 right here. Must show that in your work. And it has to go on both sides of the equation. All right, if we add these up, um, negative 10 plus 16, that's 6. And then I'm going to have a 7. Okay, so there's my standard form equation. x minus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 7. So the center will be the opposite of each one of these. So the center is going to be 4 comma negative 1. Now, this number is the radius squared. So the radius will be the square root of this number, square root of 7. Okay, and uh, we could put the decimal for this if we wanted to. Square root of 7, whoa, messed up there. Let me try that again. Square root of 7. Okay, so that's approximately 2.65. Okay, ran out of room. I'll just put 2.6. Okay, so that's how you convert to standard form. And then you can easily say the radius, uh, the center and the radius. Notice um, from the original equation, there's no way you can glance at it and tell the center and the radius. So that's the benefit of being able to convert from general form to standard form. Okay, let's do that one more time with uh, this equation. I think I'm going to zoom in this time. Okay, um, now this time I don't have a number in front, so I don't have to divide. I'm going to skip to the part where I add 3 to both sides. I'm going to skip to that. Okay, now remember I want to rearrange this so that the terms that have x in them are right next to each other and I want the terms that have y's in them to be right next to each other. So that's why I'm going to have uh, I'm going to have x squared plus 4y and then I'm going to leave a sp no, uh, not 4y. I'm going to have x squared plus 4x of course and then I'm going to leave a space to complete the square and then I'll have y squared minus 6y. And I'll leave another space. And then I'm going to have equals positive 3 because I moved that over. So um, underneath the x part, I'm going to have parentheses squared. And underneath the y part, I'm going to have parentheses squared. Uh, inside the parentheses, of course, I will have x. And then I will have half of this. So I'll have plus 2. Um, and underneath the y part, I will have y. And then I'll have half of this. So I'll have minus 3. Now here comes the most important part. I must fill in the 
blank here. This is called completing the square. I'm going to square the 2, and so that will be 4. You must show this step. Um, and you have to add 4 on both sides of the equation. Even if you get the right answer, if you don't put plus 4 on both sides, you're going to lose at least one point. Um, and then we will do the same thing with the y part. Square negative 3, you get positive 9. It's always positive because you're squaring it. And a negative times a negative is a positive. Make sure you show plus 9 on both sides. Okay. So that's going to be 7. And then plus 9 is going to be 16. Okay, so that's my standard form equation. So I'll just recopy it here. x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 16. So the center will be the opposite of this and the opposite of that. So that's going to be negative 2 comma 3. And uh, 16 is the radius squared. So the radius will be the square root of this, which will be 4. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe. Or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.